been over a week and a half, and there is still no justice for Stephen Kabuye. Now, who is Stephen Kabuye? I'm glad you asked. Stephen Kabuye is an LGBTQ rights activist and a Uganda native who was brutally attacked in his home country by two men on a motorcycle. This attack occurred after weeks of receiving death threats and harassment from people who did not like his activism, nor the LGBTQ community at large. The screenshot behind me is from a video he posted of the attack. The attackers left a humongous gash on his left arm and also buried the knife into his side. Ever since posting this video, Steven has been getting a lot of support from all around the world, and he's also been getting some very colorful comments. Here is one such example. This uh, individual is denouncing LGBTQ people as uh, Western white people values, as opposed to the totally not Western white people values of the U.S. evangelical churches that have been infecting the country of Uganda for years. Another one right here. Death awaits. Death awaits. You know, if you want to get on people's cases for condoning the sin of homosexuality? Why are you condoning the sin of murder? Exodus 2013, bitch. We have also had a bunch of people assuming that the, um, that the video is fake, the stage play. Some people were saying that the injuries were switching arms from left to right because they don't understand how mirrored video works. So, this is my left arm. This is the book Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. You realize there's something off with the text? You know, just like the text on Steven's t-shirt in that video. Another bright excuse I like to hear about the video being fake is that it was makeup. That was just makeup and appliances. They tried to prove this by showcasing how special effects makeup can work. So basically the argument is it's fake because people fake things sometimes. Once again, condoning murder, even though murder is a sin. Yeah, just keep in mind that all sin is condemnable in your religion, not just the sin that you personally dislike as well. Yeah, just uh, one last example of that, hope you don't mind. We even got the verse right up here. Yeah, why don't you just admit that your hatred of homosexuality has nothing to do with God or spirituality, it has everything to do with your ego being offended. Here we are again with the death threats. Pro-unaliving people, yet again. This time the threats are being extended to Ronald Agaba. He and Hans Sanfuma were in the hospital with Stephen while Stephen was in critical condition. And ever since then, both gentlemen have been receiving death threats. Wow, so Christian. Christian AF. Now, you may be wondering, why do I keep harping on this point? That is because the Anti-Homosexuality Act of 2023 was done under the guise of protecting family values. And it was more or less directly inspired by Christianity. And the hatred of homosexuality in the country of Uganda is promoted by the Christian religion. So, interesting. Jesus himself used the hair on his own head to wash the feet of sinners. And his so-called followers are dehumanizing their fellow man. Actively wanting to unalive them. John 8, John being a book in the New Testament of the Bible. In this chapter, these Pharisees went up to Jesus all happy, like, Hey, look, we've got these stones, and the religious law says that she needs to be stoned. Stoned with rocks, not with ganja. And in verse 7, Jesus told these men that he who is without sin, let him first cast a stone upon her. After that, the Pharisees were like, oh, shit. And I can't help but uh, see a parallel taking place here. You just have people using their faith as an excuse to justify bloodlust. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned Hans Senfuma. Because he was one of the two men that assisted Stephen while he was in the hospital, Hans is being targeted with death threats and harassment, and he needs to leave the country as soon as possible. Now, with your help, Hans will be able to leave Uganda and reach safety. The link to the GoFundMe will be in the description as well as the comments for this video.